So, Algebra 2, 3.3 had to deal with slope. Um, this was a very quick lesson that we did. Again, we're not looking for slope-intercept form or any form of a line. We're just talking about what is the slope between two points. Well, what is slope? Slope is, like we say, rise over run. That's our little way of remembering it. The technical way of actually saying that is the change in y values over the change in x values. Okay? Well, there's a formula we can actually use for this one. So if we're given two points, x1, y1, x2, y2, the formula to find slope between two points, and I don't know why, but slope is referred to as m, it's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay. Now this works, or you can even flip it around, or you can use y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. The idea is if you start with one, x, one y value, sorry, one y value on top, use that, use that same x value on bottom. Okay. So as you try a few, so we have 7, 6, and we have 3, negative 2. So if I say find the slope between these two points, pick a y value to use. So I'll choose the 6. 6 minus my other y value, which is negative 2, over, if I use the 6 on top, I have to use the 7 on bottom, 7 minus 3. Therefore, two negatives next to each other becomes plus. So we get 8 over 4, which reduces to 2. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So again, it's very basic, finding slope. Now, the other thing it's going to ask you is to describe the slant. Okay. Now, you read a graph like you read a book from left to right. So therefore, either the slope's going to be going up and to the right or down and to the right, if this number is anything except for zero or undefined. So since it is a positive slope, this is going to be going up and to the right. Up and to the right. So that's how you describe the slant. Here's your slope, and here's how you describe it. It's going up and to the right because it's a positive slope. If there was a negative right in front of it, it'd be going down into the right. Okay? So that's what you do to find the slope and to describe it. Now, there's two other types of slopes that we're going to see besides positive and negative. Okay? Now, if I give you these coordinates, 2, negative 1, and 2, 6. Okay? Again, let's set this up, y2 minus y1. So 6 minus a negative 1 over 2 minus 2. You'll notice here this ends up being 7 over 0. 7, or anything divided by 0 is not 0. Technically, the word we use is undefined. So your slope is undefined. Okay? Okay. Now, to describe that, what this looks like, if you were to graph this, what this would look like is over 2, down 1, or over 2, up 6. This is a bad graph. If I were to connect those dots, the way I would describe the slant is this would be vertical. Okay? So 100% of the time, when you have an undefined slope, the way you describe it is that it's vertical. Okay? going straight up and down. So if, what happens when we actually switch that around though? Let's switch the coordinates around. Let's see what we get here. So instead of saying 2, negative 1, if we get negative 1, 2, and 6, 2, if we were to set up this doing slope, we get 2 minus 2, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That becomes plus, you get 0 over 7. Now 0 divided by anything is 0. So this would be your slope right here. 
If you ever get zero as a slope and you have to describe the slant, again, who to graph this? This is negative one up two. This is over six up two. If you were to connect the dots, you'd see that the way you describe this is this is actually horizontal. So that's how you describe the slant. So you have four types of slopes. You have up and to the right if it's a positive number, down and to the right if it's a negative number. If it's zero, it's going to be horizontal. And if it were undefined, it'll be vertical. Okay? So good luck with that. Um, I'll actually show you how to do one problem using fractions just to help you out. Um, you do not treat it any differently how you do the rest of the problems. But who likes doing fractions anyways? So I'll do one with you. All right. So the one we did in class was 1 half. If your coordinates is 1 half, 1 third, then you have 3 fourths and 5 thirds. Okay. So you're going to set it up the same exact way you do the others. y2 minus y1 over x2, 3 fourths, minus x1, 1 half. Notice here, this, this has a common denominator of top, so you're good there. So we can say that's equal to 4 thirds. But this side, they don't have a common denominator. So what we're going to have to do is change the 1 half to become 2 fourths. So we can have the common denominator. Again, we multiply top and bottom by 2. So now when you subtract, you can say this is 1 fourth. Now the trick about a fraction over a fraction is that the bottom bottom denominator swings up to the top, and the top denominator swings down to the bottom. And it's by multiplication. 4 times 4 is 16. 3 times 1 is 3. This would be your slope, 16 thirds. Do not put it into mixed numbers. Um, we're dealing with slope. We don't want to say a slope of 2 and 1 third. We do rise over rise, 16 over 3. If you can reduce, reduce, but don't change into a mixed number or a decimal for these. And if it asks you to describe it, since it's positive, even though it's a fraction, since it's a positive number, it's going up into the right. Okay? Well, good luck with that. Good luck with that. That is how you find slope between two points, and I'm sure you guys should do just fine with that. All right? Good luck.